Hello and welcome to Casual Learning. I'm your host, John Bannon. What is success? Success is spending your time well. Now, the key word is time. Time is the most valuable thing you possess. Time is more valuable than money, more valuable than education, um, more valuable than any, any other human endeavor. Um, because when you run out of time, uh, your time is up and uh, you can't do anything anymore because you're six feet in the, in the ground. So uh, time is the most valuable thing you have. Second to that would probably be your health, because health would allow you to use your time the way you want it to. But time is the most valuable thing there is. So in terms of success, success has to be tied to how well you spend your time, because time is the most valuable thing there is. Um, so, you know, do people spend their time well? Many people don't. Uh, many people have misconceptions about what it means to spend your time well. Now, uh, as far as life goes, there's really only three things that matter. There's <clears throat> survival there's reproduction, and there's going to heaven. Uh, so survival and reproduction comes from the, the uh, theory of evolution. That's what life is designed to do, survive, survival of the fittest, reproduce for the next generation, then it dies. Uh, and then the only other thing would be eternal life in heaven, um, uh, given to us by God, uh, and that certainly is also a worthwhile goal. But when it comes down to it, that's basically it. So how well are you spending your time? Well, how well are you spending it in terms of these three fundamental purposes to life? Survival, reproduction, and going to heaven. Uh, are you surviving? Are you healthy? Do you have time? Are you reproducing? Did you have kids? Do you have a family life? And lastly, are you a good person? Are you somebody that God wants to, to have in heaven for eternity? And it's really that simple. Are you spending your time well in those terms? If you're not, then you're probably pursuing some sort of vanity, which uh, fundamentally is not important. So, People uh, are given bad advice by a lot of other people about success in life. And you got to be very careful who you take advice from. Uh, bad advice is worse than no advice. So fundamentally, be very careful about believing any particular bit of advice that somebody gives you. And, um, you know, Figure out whether this actually makes sense and whether this person is living the lifestyle that you wish to live, then maybe their advice uh, would be a good idea. Like, for instance, you don't take marital advice from somebody who's been divorced three times. 
<laughs> big mistake. So one of the things uh, people are often advised about is to work hard or to work 24 seven. Now, is that really good advice? You, you may have someone who will say, uh, don't tell me what your dreams are. Tell me what you're willing to do. Uh, and there are people who will just say, hard work overcomes all obstacles. And the most successful person is the one who works the hardest. Uh, that's where success comes from. And the one who works 24 seven is in fact the one who works the hardest. So are they the most successful people? Uh, and the answer is generally no, they're not. Um, these are not people who are spending their time well. Uh, there's more to success than simply do you work 24 seven or not? Uh, there's other, clearly other things that, that are involved in it, such as your talent level, uh, your education, your intelligence, uh, how much money you have, your connections, your political connections. Um, do you have a better plan? You know, there's the idea of uh, work smarter, uh, not harder. And there's truth to these things. Um, so I've seen a lot of uh, people who believe that if they work 24 seven, uh, they will be successful. And some of these people you see are married to their jobs uh, and they never get out of the office. And are they that successful? Generally not. I mean, if you ask their wives or their children whether they were successful or not, they'd probably say no because they didn't ever spend any time with us. So, um, you know, living, I've seen people literally spend decades in the same office uh, working on the weekends 24 seven. And then eventually they end up retiring and they die in a couple of years because they're so used to working constantly. They don't know what to do with themselves and they have a heart attack and they die. And I wouldn't call these people successes, not at all. And I've seen a lot of people like that. Uh, and I've seen people who work really, really hard, but because they don't have a very good plan, uh, they don't work very smart or they don't have the talent. They really don't succeed all that much. Um, so be careful, people who want to sell you on this idea that hard work is the key to success in anything. It's simply not true. Uh, you know, yeah, you could look at Chick-fil-A, for instance, a highly successful uh, chicken uh, restaurant, fast, uh, fast food uh, franchise. And they're closed on Sunday. <laughs> they don't work 24-7. And they're highly successful. So... Uh, that sort of hard work is the key to success and everything is simply not factually correct. I've seen plenty of examples of people who, in my opinion, are not successful at all, but who work 24 seven and they're very sad. A lot of them are very sad people who don't have lives, um, and don't really do the things that are important, uh, in life because they spend all their time working. Uh, so And a, a lot of these people who simply think working 24 seven is the success, the, the, the secret spice to success in life. Oftentimes, I mean, these people are unbalanced uh, and uh, they're not liked. A lot of people just don't like them because these people don't put any attention, don't give any attention to the important people in their lives. Uh, and um, they're not liked. They're, Mean, they're considered basically mean and shallow individuals. Maybe they're just trying to make as much money as they can, but it's really not a great lifestyle choice. Uh, you you want to live a balanced life, a balanced life. Uh, pay attention to various aspects of your life that are important to you. Spend your time well in those various aspects. Uh, being unbalanced and only worrying about one thing 
uh, and doing that 24 seven to the exclusion of everything else is really a, a formula for disaster. I haven't seen it, you know, for every one person who it looked like that worked for them. I've seen a uh, hundred where it didn't work and they just look like a sad example of how not to live one's life. Uh, oftentimes these people have terrible family problems. They end up divorced multiple times. Their kids don't even know who they are. If they have kids, some of these people just never have families whatsoever. Um, and it's probably because they got bad advice from somebody telling them that, well, hard work is a success, is the key to a successful life. And that's not entirely true. There's a lot of other aspects uh, that play into the question of are you successful or not than simply how hard you work. Plus, I've seen people have health problems. Uh, you know, they're seemingly at the prime of their careers or lives and then they drop dead they have health problems they, they get cancer or a heart attack or something bad happens to them and you never know what could happen to you um it, it's a crapshoot in many respects uh, and you shouldn't take your time for granted because you don't know uh how long you're going to live and you don't know you there's no way to guarantee um, any future amount of time. You can't buy time. Uh, you're given a certain amount of time and that's it. And your time is up. It's over. So uh, it's very important to treasure the time you have, the, the moment you have, uh, and spend your time well. That's really the only uh, objective definition of success that there is. All right. Uh, I hope you learned something, and because uh, this is a this is a profound issue, and if you get this wrong, you could pay for it dearly uh, in a bad, unbalanced life that others have convinced you that this is the way it should be, and they're wrong. Be careful who you take advice from. I don't think anything I said here uh, is incorrect. Uh, so uh, take care.